imagine music and now rock news. Yeah, man, welcome. Welcome to Imagine That. All people have to listen to Imagine Music. Please join the masses because I'm dead in blue dirt. Hey, man, I miss all of you guys. Had a great vacation, had a great time. Spending time with the little doggy here, Rogue, with the wifey and kids. It's been nice to relax, but I missed you. Oh my, you know what? Damn it. I want to get a hug. I want a hug from you guys. Give me a hug. I want a hug right there. Yeah. Yeah. I feel that love. All right. Man, I'm jacked. So now, if you know, we got some changes going on with the show. It's been wonderful. You got yours truly, the man of music. The one that really matters, Mike. Imagine Mike Haddon. You all know me from the stores, from the newspapers, from everything else on music. Working for the Colts, doing all that stuff. And I share it all with you. And that's all that matters to me right now. That is, it's just a great feeling to be back with you all. I'm all jacked up. Listening to some, one of my favorite songs. Boy, when I get fired up, I listen to that song right there. Reminds me of Empire Records and all that stuff. Since I did run music stores, it's such a great song so we'll jam to that a little bit but I came back on uh, the other guys are not on the show anymore and that's fine uh, you know it's dirty deeds done dirt cheap but uh, hey man it's all great because I've had so many people come with me some great comments and ideas some guest artists are gonna be on the show we got some people uh, that are giving me some information on doing uh, uh, voices and stuff I mean we always wanted to become like a, a more cruder, ruder rock and roll bottom time on Q95, and uh, we're gonna continue on with that. I'm kind of putting on the Jimmy Fallon kind of surroundings here. Oh man, putting my guys up here, but always on the little desk. And I'm telling you guys, man, the only reason we do this show, you know, me being very sick, one of the one things everybody did that I talked to said do something that will bring you a lot of joy. And I'm telling you, when I had Imagine Music, that was one of the greatest times of my life. And it was just a great feeling. I wanted to kind of recapture that a little bit and share stuff with you guys, have some giveaways, have some fun, have some bands on. And so far, after a year's time, it's been great. Uh, the problem, lots of times is, you know, I, it's hard to find people that love music as much as I do and put the commitment time into it. And I'm not gonna give up that up on you guys. Everybody's coming to me might keep doing the show I, I honestly was gonna stop doing the show I always did the show to be with friends and I've lost a few of them through uh, the fact that I'm a hard worker I want to get things done away certain way and have fun I don't want I don't want to do a show with a bunch of stoners and drunks laying around being stupid I want to do stuff to bring some educated facts to you about music tell you some new releases go out and interview these people at concerts, concerts and everything and have some fun and we're gonna to continue to do that on a more cooler kind of format with people coming and going on the show, but I will always be here to bring you the information and the music. I'm the one with the passion and love for it, and I just want to keep sharing it uh, the way uh, we do, the way you came into my karmas and imagined music stores and stuff like that, and reminisced and talked. I felt kind of like a little bartender, always talking to people about music and things like that in the shops, and it was an incredible feeling and that's all I'm trying to do is reenact those feelings with you guys coming in and sharing them with me. You guys are more welcome to ask me questions, bring stuff on. You have any ideas you want to do or have some good ones? I've had a few people give me some. I really appreciate that. That's great. Uh, we're on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. But I'm telling you, Instagram, if you like the memes and stuff, is incredible on there. I'm getting so much feedback on that now. But Facebook is usually where we're going to do. We just started uh, Twitch. We're going to be doing Twitch uh, here in the next week or so, too, with the, the shows. Uh, we're branching out into different directions. We're not going to sit on our hands here. We're going to keep moving forward and uh, just bring you uh, all the fun I could possibly bring you guys in the little town that I live in. So uh, if you guys, any of the bands, want to uh, hit me up and talk about playing, that's great. Let me know. We'll get you signed up because I have some other people that we're getting lined up for such a thing and uh, and get you on the calendar uh, if and the businesses out there because I believe in giving back in the community that's one thing I'm firmly a believer on since I own small businesses I don't think 
the other guys got that so much, but it's it's something to me that makes me feel good. You know, when you almost kick it, you know, you realize family and friends and all that are the greatest thing, which a lot of you guys out there are great friends of mine. I want to give it back to you and have some fun with it. The businesses in town, I know they're friends of mine. They want to do that too. So we're tying ourselves together to do more of that. So you'll get more of that too. So that I can't wait for some of the stuff we got planned up. It's going to be so fun. So everything, appreciate it, you guys. I still appreciate some of the people like Matney and Goble and uh, Lori Lohorn. And some of these people are just incredible people that keep giving me advice. And thank you, thank you. So, all right, this show is going to be kind of a short show here anyways. I'm just trying to come in and give you some ideas on the formats and stuff going on. But I wanted to especially come on today because it's a very special day for me. It's Ozzy Osbourne's birthday, 72 years old. The guy is a rock god in my book. I've got to meet the gentleman and Sharon. It was a great time back in the day. Uh, one of the nicest guys I've ever met. I mean... Uh, Sitting there drinking tea with Ozzy, man, who and Sharon. How would you ever have a better night than that? Uh, I, I just, um, I mean, the guy feels like he's a family member to me. I mean, as, as much as you see him on TV and when you get to meet somebody like that and changes your life and makes you appreciate music even more and builds that in your brain, I, you, you want to be somebody like that. It, it, it's just incredible when you get to meet one of your legends like that. Uh, I, I will never forget that. I really won't. So happy birthday to Ozzy. Uh, I hope many more. Uh, you're one of the greatest, man. We love you. So, all right. Some of the other things I want to do today, just because it's near Christmas time, I wanted to tell you about some new releases real quick that are coming out and some of the hot ones that are out now. Uh, so I can keep doing that for you since it's so big right now coming into Christmas. There's so much cool stuff. So I made a little list for you all. Some of the best sellers that have kind of been out for a few weeks, but, um, I've listened to a lot of these, and they're really killer albums. Uh, Bob Dylan's uh, new one is really good. I'm not a huge Bob Dylan fan or a Bruce Springsteen fan, but man, I've listened to both these albums, and they're incredible. Uh, Rough and Rowdy by Bob Dylan, Bruce Springsteen's Letter to Love. Uh, James Taylor has a new one. I have to tell you something about James because, you know, we have a restraining order against him. He's always coming after us for all the things we had words about with him, so, you know, I had to get a restraining order on James, but... I'll, I'll still promote his album. Uh, ACDC Power Up, man, great album. It's one of the best albums they've done in a really long time. Uh, well worth the ACDC stamp on that album, man. Uh, if you're a fan, which you know most of you are, uh, yeah, you definitely want to at least check this album out. Uh, and here's a surprise one. Miley Cyrus has Plastic Hearts out with all kinds of uh, rock songs with people. She was with Stevie Nicks. She's with Joan Jett. Uh, a bunch of people in there. It's actually a really good album. Um, uh, so, you know, a little poppy in some regards, but dang, I mean, it's pretty impressive for her. Uh, here in the next week, White Stripes Greatest Hits. Oh, Spanishy Pumpkins' new album, CYR. I'm telling you, man, hey, I'm a Pumpkins fan, but I have not really cared for many of their last albums, but this album here is freaking phenomenal. I almost say it's as good or, or getting up there with Melancholy. That's how good this album is. It's got a lot of uh, 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 keyboards and stuff in it a little bit, but man, he re Billy really pulls this off really well. If you've ever been a fan of this group, you need to check that album out. Uh, another kill one getting her come out. Billy Joe Armstrong from Green Day. Uh, all the songs he did during the, the lockdown, uh, the cover songs all he did, he put them all on an album. It's called No Fun Mondays. That is really impressive. You see the songs he did. Uh, I, I, I'm... Definitely going to get that one myself. Uh, Nick Cave, uh, Idiot Prayers, a really great alternative artist y'all could check into. Uh, I always want to say more about alternative stuff. That's one thing about the show that I, I was getting a little bummed about. It was always being talking about sex all the time uh, between the other two. And I, I want to talk more about music. I, I You know, it's nice to get a chuckle like that every once in a while. But, you know, um, and it you know, kind of gets old when you're just making fun of each other. So, uh, War on Drugs is another great alternative group you can branch out into. They got an album called Live Drugs coming out. Check them out. Uh, Neil Young, uh, his archive albums came out. Um, so you have the uh, volume two from 72 to 76. That's those prime years. I'm sure that's impressive. 
uh, Jimi Hendrix, the live Maui came out. It's a live album, but it's all done. Uh, he did this concert on, on a, near a volcano. Uh, and I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a video concert of that as well. And one of the last ones I wanted to tell you about is Elton John's AC, eight CD box set of all his music ever. He's got that out. That should be a great Christmas present as well. So talking about Christmas presents, uh, I'm trying to do some fun stuff with you guys because, you know, I always want to give back to you all. And uh, you guys did so much for me when you shopped in my stores for all those years. Um, so I'm trying to do something for you. Um, I found some Funkos um, that I'm going to give away to you guys. These four Funkos. Um, you got um, Freddie Mercury Queen, you got uh, Carrie from Slayer, you know, you got Gene from Kiss, and you got Marilyn Manson there. Uh, I'm going to put a little trivia question or something on the page, and uh, if you just make a comment, just a comment. Whoever the first person name I, ran I randomly pull out, you get to pick any one of these you want. Second person gets the leftovers. Third person leftover. Fourth, you get the very last one. It's all free. All you can do is say a damn comment, man. And you can get something, even if you don't care for them too much. I'm just trying to give you a little joy. Give them away to your husband or your boyfriend or girlfriend. And it's something for Christmas. Hopefully I'll have some more of that stuff when I go out and uh, start talking to some of the other guys. Since I've been uh, in Florida for a little bit, I need to uh, uh, get back in touch with some of the businesses and have fun. But I just missed you guys so much. Mwah. I had to get on here and just say hi, give you an idea of what's going on a little bit, um, and give you the thumbs up that, you know, I'll pop in on the show. We'll see. What I, I, I'm, I'm kind of leaving this up to you guys and some of it, uh, when you, uh, might want to get together and do some stuff. Tina makes an incredible amount of food. As you can all see some of the pictures and come out and enjoy the time with us because that's what I want to do. I want to be with friends talk music and share it with you guys and uh you know build this thing it's growing so fast i can't i can't believe how fast it is so let's have some fun let's uh, do some more and uh i'm telling you man it's it's sky's the limit on all that and uh uh we'll get uh, some real good-hearted true friends in here that want to have some fun and talk music and i know there's a lot out there i'm hearing a lot from you so all right guys i think that's really it that is it from Imagine Music. All right. I feel like, you know, which is sad to say today is his uh, anniversary of his death, but uh, I feel like Scott from Stone Temple Pilot on here, man. Like, woohoo! You know, and I can sit there and go, when I, and, you know, uh, I use this on my wife all the time too when she starts talking to me. Yeah. So, it's about the best. Best money I spent. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll pop back on here soon. You guys got any ideas or comments or anything, please send them to me on the page. I read every single one of them. I try to respond to every single one of them because, hey, man, I love you guys, and I appreciate everything you do, man. So keep the music alive. You know, I, I, I had a post uh, I put on today that I loved where it said, you know, uh, so many people I've met because of music. Because of music, you know, all the people I've loved and lost and everything, you know, it's all became mainly because of music. And I'll tell you, man, there's no better feeling than that, man. And we need to build on that. We need to keep it going. We need to get on here. We need to scream and yell music. Because music's the best medicine, man. I keep telling you that. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll give you another big hug before I leave because I missed you all. And we'll be back real soon. Love you. Love you. Woohoo.